Okay, some quick comments on the Makarmi X4S flashlight. Now, uh, this flashlight is definitely not one of the brightest I've seen. The maximum uh, lumens is 130, but uh, as you can see, it is really, really small. Um, I have here a lumen top tool and a lumen top worm. And what you can basically see is that it's basically the same approximate diameter, just a tad thicker on the on the head, but uh, I'd say it's fully um, two-thirds, only two-thirds of the overall length, and uh, obviously uh, quite a bit lighter. Oops. You can see it's so small, it's really hard to get a, a grip on it. So um, the, uh, the light pattern on it is actually quite good. As you can see here, that is the uh, low, and then this is the, the high. Very smooth, no artifacts. It's a, a total internal reflection uh, optic, which I generally don't like, Ooh. but um, the, um, the tool, which actually has a reflector, really is not, I really find it's really not any better. Uh, it's got just a touch more throw, but uh, as it turns out, uh, the uh, McCarmy actually has more total output. Part of that is Lumen Top is not recommended for lithium ion. Uh, I have heard people have been able to put them in. I have heard though that uh, some of the versions will burn out if you put a lithium ion. So that's where the McCarmy uh, really has an advantage. Not only does it have a lithium ion battery, which is this tiny, tiny little guy right here. 100 milliamp hours, but it even has an onboard charger. Now, the uh, rated runtime is 30 minutes on high, which is the uh, 130 lumens, or uh, no, this, they actually say it's 8 lumens, but I think it's a lot more. I think it's really more like perhaps 20 or 30. Uh, they say that's basically, I think, 6 hours. Yep, six hours. So uh, again, once you unscrew the whole bezel, there actually is a micro USB port. You can charge it in there. And then what uh, you'll see on the other side, there's a light that goes from red to green once it's complete, and then you're done. Uh, <clears throat> the only minor uh, complaint I guess I would have is that um, they have machined the threads so they're not, the threads are not anodized. What that means is if you unscrew the tail cap, it does not turn the light off, um, which would be nice just as a little extra insurance. Um, as it is, you can probably unscrew it probably one full rotation, maybe a little bit more um, to turn it off. There isn't that much resistance on these threads, so I'd, I'd be a little bit worried about it potentially turning on uh, on its own in your pocket. Now, uh, as I mentioned, when you turn it, to tighten it, the light comes on. Okay, so right there. That's right when it comes on. And it takes, from what I've seen, basically three quarters of a turn. So there's half a turn. And there's another little turn there. So three quarters of a turn to go on to high, after which it basically goes another quarter turn and it bottoms out. So uh, very impressed, very lightweight and small and uh, surprisingly bright. Runtime is pretty weak, for, uh, but obviously the size is the advantage. However, I think the runtime is clearly offset by the fact that it has the onboard charger, so you can really charge it anywhere you go. Uh, rest of the information I'll go ahead and put in the review. Thanks.